Training Peaks has officially released their Apple Watch integration. And today I'm gonna to show you what the experience is like and how it's gonna uplevel my running and my cycling training. If you've been watching my channel, you know that I'm running the London Marathon next year and hopefully an Ironman one day. So I'm always trying to find the best tools to run faster, cycle faster, and then one day swim. And I've always heard how Training Peaks is one of the more popular apps. So today I'm gonna to show you how the app is going to directly integrate with my Apple Watch. Now, first thing you wanna do is make sure your iPhone is on iOS 17.2 and your Apple Watch is on 10.2. Go to the App Store and make sure your Training Peaks app is up to date and finally open it up. If you've watched my running videos, you know my coach, Coach Parker, inputs all of his workouts into Training Peaks, part of the reason I selected him. I was waiting for the inevitable moment where I could automatically export my workouts from Training Peaks directly into my Apple Watch, and, that, and this is how it works. First, we'll talk about running. So I can hop into the Training Peaks app. I'll be able to see all the workouts that are scheduled for me for the today, and then if I want to go on a calendar, I can see all those as well. But if I tap on my running workout for today, if you've never used Training Peaks, you'll be able to see kind of the workout details, if there's anything written about the description, the exact workout in terms of distance, pacing, heart rate, whatever the selected variables are will be shown here, as well as a place to put comments, etc. And then let's say I want to do this tempo pyramid workout. I just need to make sure that I had opened up Training Peaks and like that data is synced to my watch. I'm gonna select Outdoor Run just because I wanna get a little bit of GPS. So it's gonna start looking for GPS. And then it's gonna tell me what I'm doing. So what's next is work. I got the interval pace. I can see my distance and pacing and I can customize these screens as much as I want. But this is the screen that's gonna be different from everything else and this is specific to custom workouts. I can create these custom workouts directly on the Apple Watch or I can use an app like Training Peaks which will automatically send that to the watch. Let's start the workout. It's gonna tell me what I'm doing, 1.5 kilometers from a 12 to 15 minute per mile pace. Kilometers and miles, I'm confused already. But it's gonna notify me, see the little bell, if I go outside of those bounds. Now, maybe I'm gonna go to the next one, now it's recovery at 12 minute to 15, 38 pace. You can tap the screen, right? And it's gonna show me, I, I, I'm in work, I have one kilometer left, and the next thing is going to be recovery. So if I tap this, it's gonna show recovery, half a kilometer, boom, and the next thing is work. Let's say, to be able to jump, let's say for some reason you finish that or you want to jump to the next interval, you have the option to swipe and press next. That's one way to do it. Or I can press the action button, which is another way to do it. Let's say I'm done with the workout. I can press both these buttons on the side and that will pause the workout. And I can go ahead and end the workout here. And once I've done the workout, I can see, all right, this is the workout we did, Temple Pyramid the total time, all of the data, heart rate, distance, pacing, elevation, the weather. And if I'm like, I really love that workout, I want to save this custom workout inside of my workout app, I can add it to the workout app. So now it's going to appear here, there it is, as a regular custom workout. Maybe I want to go ahead and edit it. I can tap the triple dots, tap the edit. And now I can actually go ahead and edit this workout on my watch. I can change the distance, the alerts, whatever the specifics are. I have to do it on my watch though, so just keep that in mind. I can reorder things, I can change repetitions. So let's say I want to add some repeats. I can go ahead and select these and be like, we want to actually repeat that five times. So now the workout has been customized to what I want. If I want to change the name, I can do that too. I can even send the workout to a friend. So let's send this to my content closet. Boom, I can delete the workout if I wanted to, and now it's gone. So like there is a way to create custom workouts on your own. You can go ahead and scroll to the very bottom. You say create workout, you say custom, and this is where I can create a custom workout with a warm up, a core portion, a cool down. I can name it whatever I want. That's all possible here. Or I can customize a previous custom workout. Like this is probably one of my favorite custom workouts here. We have a 400 meter, we have 400 meter at 520 pace. So I was doing this when I was training for the sub five minute mile. I'll video the link below. And you can see like my recovery time, the work that I need to do. And then when I do show up at the track, track mode automatically integrates. So I start whatever workout it is, I'm at the track, it's gonna ask me, hey, you're at a track, do you wanna start track mode? I select the lane and bam, it's gonna stick me to that lane so I can have my custom workout, have very precise distance and pacing because I'm on the track. And now that I'm done, I can go ahead and refresh my training peaks and I can see that it shows that I finished it here. It says that my compliance is 2%, you know, not ideal. I think it's a bit harder to show here, but I'll show you me actually using it and you can see what it looks like when you hit the times and all those things. We can see all my workout metrics, my compliance. I can see a map and graph of the entire workout, all the data around it inside of Training Peaks, and that gets automatically sent to my coach, which is super valuable. Let's say I just wanna see it inside of fitness. I can also go to the fitness app, see my outdoor run, and it's going to have all the intervals that I did right here. Sometimes it may take a little bit to load, so please be patient. If you do go straight into the app and it doesn't show up, just be mindful that it might take a little bit of time to get some of that extra data here, but it'll have my heart rate throughout the entire workout, the actual intervals that I did, and the pacing and time. Let's go to our previous workout. So here I did an indoor run, we had our intervals here, and the distance I ran, the pacing, the heart rate, 
for that specific period that was built into the custom workout. This is an issue I think I've had <laughs> ever since I got my iPhone. Maybe I just have too much health data. Here we're doing a one minute, 30 second recovery and a 30 second work. And we're trying to hit certain pacings in those. So you can see all that data here, just to like double check that I did it correctly. My heart rate throughout that workout and these splits for each mile. And if I want to go see that same workout inside of Training Peaks, I can go to my calendar. So here we had this custom workout here, and I went ahead and I built this workout on my own inside of the Training Peaks app just to see what it was like. But this was Erin's workout that I did with her. So I just inputted what we were doing, the amount of time in the workout. And luckily on this one, I got an 88% compliance based on the time. And we have all the data here. I can see where I ran, all the variables that I need to know throughout the workout heart rate, lap, pacing, duration, my cadence, power, any set of data that you want is all inside of here in Training Peaks, and it, my coach can automatically see that information. Once a workout has been completed, you'll see that it's been uploaded. First, to make sure that all of this is going to work, you're going to want to provide access to the workout app and Apple Health, and you want to go ahead, and when you open the app, it's gonna ask you that, so the Apple Watch workout app, once you have that automatically sent to the Apple Watch, you can have it automatically send seven days of workouts. Just open up your Training Peaks to make sure all your workouts are up to date. Then you wanna open up Apple Health, and this is gonna allow Training Peaks to read all the data that's been saved by your Apple Watch, and it can upload this information to the Training Peaks app. So this is kind of what they're going to grab and pull. Once that is completed and ready, all these features will begin to work. Next, we'll go to cycling. So how does the cycling piece work? Very, very similar. I can go ahead and create a custom workout on my Apple Watch if I wanted to, or I can use Training Peaks or some other apps to use the Custom Workouts API to send the workout from here to my watch. So I can see kind of what my coach wrote, a description, what they're telling me here and the actual workouts as well. I think when it comes to adherence and getting workouts done, you want the most seamless approach possible. So having an app that can automatically import the workouts into my watch, I essentially just show up with the equipment that I need and I press go and it tells me what to do in real time. I think that is extremely valuable and I love that we have this for running and cycling. I think I would love to see this for swimming and strength training. There are some strength training apps that I love that will build this on their own in the Apple Watch, but this is all native within the Apple platform and I think that is huge. So now I have my biking workout. I can pull up my Apple Watch again, press the action button. We want to swipe up to the training peaks. You'll see my bike is now there because we finished the running. So we're gonna select indoor cycle this time. And one thing that you can do is connect to a power meter. So luckily at my gym and probably most gyms, every bike, indoor bike is gonna have a computer and you can connect via Bluetooth from your watch to your bike. So just go to settings, Bluetooth, and then find the specific bike name. Sometimes at the gym, there's gonna be like hundreds of Bluetooth items. So you have to scroll a lot. Once you're connected, the power data from the bike is gonna show up on the watch here. And you'll see that actual data update. Mine also provides cadence data as well. So that will show up here as under the RPMs. But now I can see what I need to do. And the workout can be heart rate based, power based, cadence based, whatever it is. I hit start workout. It's gonna tell me, all right, this one is heart rate based. So I need to stay within these bounds or else it's gonna notify me. So three minutes and 30 seconds of work. All right, we're working right now. If I press the next interval, we have more work. We're just increasing our heart rate. Press the next interval. Even more work, we're increasing heart rate. Next interval, right? And as soon as I finish the one minute 30 mark, it's going to automatically go through, but I'm just pressing this to just show you what it's like. All right, we're increasing heart rate even more. Next interval, and now it's recovery. Heart rate comes down 73, 89. And the great part about this is that you can actually use your phone. So I got this. Apple sent me this amazing case right here that will allow me to mount my phone to the bike. So you can use your iPhone as a bike computer, whether you're biking indoors or outdoors. As soon as I start my bike workout, it's gonna show a fitness thing here. I'll tap that fitness button and it's going to turn my phone into a bike computer. I can see all my data from power, heart rate, zones, what the workout actually is, what's coming up next. I can even tap next on the iPhone to go to the next interval. All right, and as you can see, the biking here is done. So I can see my 5% compliance, all the workouts that I did, my calories, heart rate data, the training stress score is all inputted in there as well. I can obviously see all the same data that I do for running as well. So it's just super seamless now. I love that I can load the Training Peaks app, get the custom workouts, it goes straight to my watch, we do the workouts, Boom, done. Anything that makes a life effortless, frictionless, and gets me to do my workouts with the least effort possible is amazing. So I'm absolutely in love, and I'm excited that Training Peaks and Apple have finally launched this integration. Apple and Training Peaks allowed me to use this before the launch. I'm freaking honored. That was so much fun. I can't wait to start using this for training for the London Marathon with my coach. I'm raising money for charity, so I wanna thank the eight people that have already donated. Seriously, we're almost halfway there. That's insane. I am so grateful. If you want to go donate, there is a link down below, but really, I wanna thank Ivan, Anonymous, Felix, Anonymous with no amount, 
David Hawkins, Anonymous, Dasa Beast. I really appreciate all of you for donating. It seriously means so much. I'm like honored. We are 18 weeks away from the London Marathon, so I'm very excited to run this. This will be my very first. Do you use custom workouts on the Apple Watch? Do you use Training Peaks? Let me know. I want to hear it below. Thank you to all of you. Make sure to subscribe. Turn on your notifications down below if you want to see future videos. Follow me on Instagram and X and Strava at Shervin Shares. We'll see you in the next video. Peace.